Hello everybody, my name is Miguel with SoCal Watcheries. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we got a fun one. We are looking at an 811 Origin Black Leather Watch. Now, this is a modern reinterpretation of a vintage watch. The numerous wrist watches were produced in the US and issued to the military personnel during World War II. The 811 is perhaps the most iconic. Why? Well, it's legible black dial white indices they were made either from nickel silver uh and they had a one-piece strap so the a11 has become synonymous with the american horological prowess and in industry with tens of thousands made during the war for allied soldiers so today as i mentioned we will be looking at a very affordable a11 recreation from a watch company called precedus they call this watch the a11 origin this is the most authentic World War II inspired A11 field watch in the market. The Presidus watch company is actually backed by World War II veterans and assembled in the U.S. Also, Presidus commits to support our war veterans associations and communities by donating 5% of each sale to their partner organizations. This watch pays homage to the original A11 32mm case watch, but it has been modernized to increase its precision and comfort. The packaging looks and feels very minimalistic and very military inspired. It's done very nicely and I want to show you the attention to detail. I've seen some interesting warranty cards in the past, but this one was actually printed on a dog tag and of course as a QR code that you could look up uh, the warranty with your phone. I think it takes it to another level and it's very nicely kind of done. The watch itself looks and feels more expensive honestly than $100 and the specs are great for this price point. The case measures in at 40 millimeters. It's 47.2 millimeters from lug to lug, 12.5 millimeter stick. It has 20 millimeter lugs. It only weighs in at 55 grams on the supplied leather strap. It features a double dome K1 mineral glass that actually appears to have AR, and the watch is water resistant to 50 meters. The stainless steel case is sandblasted, but we do see some polishing on top of the lugs. Something interesting to note is that the polish resembles that of vintage nickel plated cases. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't particularly look premium. Overall, the tactile feel and finish of the case is not bad for a watch at this price point. And let's not forget that this watch is being assembled here in the US. We see that information engraved on the case back along with the name of the watch. The 7mm push and pull crown is easy to operate, but thanks to a Swiss Ronda 763 movement, that won't be necessary, unless you're traveling, of course. The serviceable movement has 5 joules, is accurate to minus 10 plus 20 seconds per month, has a battery life of 3.5 years, and overall, it's a reliable movement. I know the company offers mechanical movements in some of their other watches, but of course the price of those watches is in the $200-$250 range, therefore this is a good move by the company. The dial is very, very simple to read. We find clear printed Arabic numbers and above the indices in 10 minute increments we find printed 60 minute numerals. The leaf style hands are not only legible but also harken back to that World War II era. One of the cool things about this watch is that you won't find any logos nor markings on the dial. This watch is all business. In low light conditions, this dial is very legible. I'm not sure what material of loon the company is using, but the luminous material that's been applied here on the hands and indices glows very bright and it lasts a few hours. Again, for a $100 watch, this is very impressive. The watch comes with this distress style 20 millimeter Italian leather strap that has a quick release system. Now, the strap does feel supple, but it doesn't feel top notch, but by no means does it feel cheaply made. On my 6 and 7 8 inch wrist at 17.46 centimeters, the watch feels great. It's very light, it's comfortable, and it feels sturdy enough to take a beating. I personally prefer the watch on this canvas strap that was also sent in by the company. Please note that the watch will only come with one strap and additional straps can be purchased separately. Also, as a side note, I noticed that this canvas strap is meant for people with bigger wrists. I had to wear it on the last available hole, but in my opinion, I think it changes the look. It makes it look a little more military. Okay, so let's cover some of the pros and some of the cons about this watch. Let's start with the cons. The mineral crystal. I understand the costs need to be cut, but this is the biggest letdown. I'm really weird about scratching my crystal, so sapphire would have been perfect. Polishing on the case. Okay, as previously mentioned, the polishing seems poorly finished. An entire blasted case would have been better and matched the military aesthetic. 
Now, some of the pros, the price, of course, you get a good watch for the money. The quality and design are in line with what the company's, you know, asking. And number two, the history. If you love military watches, this is like a time capsule and it definitely will take you back to the 1940s. Look, overall, I didn't really know what to expect out of a $100 World War II military inspired watch, but I'm actually really impressed by the attention to detail, quality, and overall wearability of the watch. I'll say this, if you have had your eye on a Hamilton khaki watch, but A, you don't have the funds, or B, you don't really wear field watches regularly, then this is definitely the watch for you. The 20 millimeter lug width and simple aesthetic makes this watch feel and wear very versatile and is one that I would recommend. Thank you so much for the support. Please let me know what you think about this watch and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, my friends, stay safe, have fun in your watch collecting journey, and stay humble.